These easy homemade waffles are crisp on the outside and fluffy on the inside, and they are full of delicious buttery vanilla flavor. I get a request for them pretty much every weekend from my family, and today we're gonna to be making them with my favorite, challenge butter. Hi, I'm Lindsay from Life, Love & Sugar, and today we're making easy homemade waffles. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is get our dry ingredients ready. We've got flour, baking powder, salt, and some sugar. I love a little sweetness in my waffles. And mix all that together. So the next thing we're gonna do is work with our butter. Again, we're using my favorite challenge butter. I've been using it for a while now and I love it. It's a great butter. It is 100% real cream butter and no additives or fillers or hormones or anything like that. Plus it's farm to fridge in about two days. So once those cows are milked, it's in the dairy case in about 24 hours. Super creamy, great flavor, I love it. Definitely give it a try. So we're gonna wanna melt our butter. We're eventually gonna add it in with our wet ingredients, which are actually kinda cold, so we wanna kinda prevent it from like curdling up when we put it in with our cold ingredients. So I find one thing that really helps is to add just a touch of milk to the butter and then when I melt it, it's already kind of started mixing with other stuff and so when I add it in with the rest of the cold ingredients, it actually doesn't curdle. Okay, so now we've got our melted butter. So we're gonna combine our milk. And our eggs. And some vanilla extract also adds great flavor and our butter. And then we will stir all that together. Hopefully you can see that the butter is not like curdling in there. It actually incorporates really well when you heat it up with that little bit of milk in there. So now we'll add our wet ingredients to our dry. Stir this all together. You don't need to do too much crazy mixing. If there are some lumps in here, that's totally normal and okay. Just wanna make sure it's all combined. All right, so now you're gonna to wanna to take your prepared waffle batter and put it in your waffle iron. Whichever one you're using, I'm sure it's got some instructions about how much batter you need for your particular waffle maker, as well as instructions for whether or not you need a nonstick spray. But go ahead and prep your waffle maker and measure out the correct amount of batter, add it in there, and Make your waffles. There's one beautiful waffle, just five or six more to go. So when you're done, you've got lightly sweet, delicious, buttery waffles ready for your family for the weekend or any time. They're actually great. You can make them ahead. You can put them in the freezer. You can put them in the fridge if you want to freeze them. They do great just popping them in the toaster oven when you need them. And I actually like to put parchment paper between each of them so they don't stick. The other thing you can even do is add blueberries or chocolate chips when you're making them. You've got lots of options. They always make the perfect waffle and know you're going to love them. Be sure to top them with a little challenge butter and a drizzle of maple syrup. I know you'll love them. For the full recipe, head over to lifeloveandsugar.com.